Hello, my name is Samer Audi, and this is part 12 of the Kali Linux Security Tools series. So let us get started. In this video, I will demonstrate two tools under the vulnerability analysis category, namely Unix PrivEsc Check and Nikto. Let's start with the simplest of the two tools, Unix PrivEsc Check. The name is a mouthful, but it's actually self-explanatory. It is a script for Unix systems that checks for potential privilege escalation vulnerabilities based on misconfigurations in that system. The script is intended to be run by security auditors, penetration testers, and even system administrators against systems where they have been granted access to. So I will simply run it on my Kali. This is very useful tool in a clear box penetration testing model, not much so in a black box model. Let's see this tool in action. Okay, so our Unix privilege escalation checker is available under vulnerability analysis. Let's start it from the command line and see the help system for this tool using the h option this tool is from pen test monkey and it basically has two modes or two options standard or detailed for this demo i will be using standard that's it not much to it i will just replace the h option with the word standard and let it run. What the tool is doing is actually scanning my system for misconfiguration that may lead to privilege escalation. What you would do at the end of a scan is to look for warnings and errors and to see if they actually are valid warnings and you can do something about it by fixing them. So this is it for the tool. Let's move on to the more interesting tool, which is Nikto. Nikto is a very useful tool when your target has a web server because this tool scans the server for vulnerabilities. It is powerful. It has a lot of useful options. I will go over some of these options in a second, but for now, the basic usage is very simple. This tool requires the host option with an argument, with a value, which is the IP address of the or the URL of your target. So, and it tells you here at the top. You will see that some of these options, like host, like display, like format, has the plus sign. And basically, an option with a plus sign, as you can see at the bottom, requires a value. For more details, you can use the capital H option or the manual pages, so man nikto. Okay, for the demo, I will show you my target. This is my IP address. As a reminder to my students, I like to go through this process where I discover my target and my favorite scan is the SN option in Nmap. My target is .146. So I'm gonna use the Nmap default scan without any options against this target. You see that it has the default HTTP port 80 is open. So if I run a quick scan on that using the host option, it will use the default port 80. I stopped the scan. It's not time yet to discuss the scan results. Just wanted to show you using the host option against this target and the default port 80 need to perform the scan. But what if I wanna change the default port? As you can see here, my target has potentially another web server running. So I'm gonna use nmap with the SV option to discover other 
running web servers on my target. As you can see, port 8180 has Apache Tomcat web server running on it. So it's potential for me to scan using NIC2. And I'm gonna do that using the port option. So let me repeat. Okay, the scan is concluded and the tool was able to give me a lot of useful information including HTTP header information, what the web server is, what server site technology is running, and what HTTP methods are allowed. If you're familiar with this, otherwise you can watch another video that I have on web application security. Also, you will see information about configurations on the web server, information about the server site scripting language like PHP, which version it is, and so on. What's interesting here, we'll be able to see even that nick was able to enumerate some potential username and password access which is here for the management of the web server with the username tomcat and the password tomcat okay so there's a lot of information that was discovered here but before we go into these let's go back to some of the options available for us in this tool let's start with the display option as you can see, you can use this option, which has a plus, if you recall, to control the output that nick will show you. For example, if you want to show just the 200 or OK responses, then you can say display and you can use number three. So the value for this option would be either one, two, three, four or D or V. The evasion option is very interesting. It says here that it uses the libwhisker IDS evasion technique. So just to give you some context, libwhisker is a Perl module that nick relies on when it performed the scan. For this particular option, nick uses the anti-IDS or intrusion detection system routine of the libwhisker module. You, to use this option, you would simply use evasion and then specify one of these numbers available one through eight. So the format option is for the output. We have seen the host option, of course. Now, in case you were able to enumerate uh, ID and password, so you can use it here, for basic authentication and the format to do that is ID colon password. Then you can list the plugins that are available in this version. Now the mutate option is interesting. So we have the default scans, we have specific scans, and then we have uh, a mutated uh, scans, meaning a combination of different scans that are available uh, for you. Again, to use it, you would use the mutate option with one of the numbers available one through six. So for example, if you use number three, then you would be enumerating users uh, or usernames via Apache. So again, it just gives you more power in your scan. Uh, some options, uh, for example, not to perform a lookup or not to use SSL when you're connecting to the server and so on and so forth. This is it for the options of the tool. Again, I'm not going to go over each one of these options, but let's go and re-examine the output that we just got. Okay, so the first thing to do really when you have discovered that there is a web server running, especially that it's not a default port 80, meaning there is some kind of a web application that your target is using. So the first thing to do is to open your web browser and simply visit. Let me do that. Okay, if we do just the IP address without any option, uh, basically, you are looking at 
the default port 80 right but if you want to change that in the url you would use the colon and then you would use whatever port that you're interested in in this case it would be port 8180 and there it is okay you can see here that uh, I have some interesting links like administration, like the Tomcat manager. And again, Nick to identify some of these paths for you in case they're not available conveniently with links as we can see in our web page. Nick to will help you find these paths and these pages where you can potentially um, attempt an attack, including the default username and password which is tomcat tomcat and again this is still a vulnerability assessment or a vulnerability analysis demo so it's not about the attack but i will show you very quickly here it's asking me for a username for this is the administration i think i clicked so tomcat tomcat and there i am in the administration of my web server including its different modules the data sources including the different uh, users that are available and the different roles so they will be potential for very interesting attacks on this server another is the tomcat manager we'll try the default tomcat and tomcat here we have the running services or applications available on this web server and from here you can stop any of these services which is again a potential for a lot of problems this is it for today's demo if you have any questions about our tools for today please don't hesitate to ask with the two tools i demonstrated in this video I concluded the vulnerability analysis group demonstrating a total of six tools. Of course, Legion and Nmaps are tools that I've demonstrated in a previous video, so I will not be repeating. Thank you for watching, and if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you again.